Staying up, I'm wildin' out, I'm leaning in. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's just Safi here and today we're doing a new video and today's video is all about beauty favorites. I have a few beauty favorites here, things that I've been loving, things that I've shown you, some things that I may not have shown you. But I'm really loving these items lately and they are essentials in my beauty routine. So if you're interested, keep watching. Also, click like and subscribe and become a part of the MVP family. Because if you're watching this and I've been talking and you're not subscribed, I'm judging you. Yes, I'm judging, I'm judging, I'm judging. So stay tuned for all of my current favorites. Alright, let's get started. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items to show you. So they're not going to be in any particular order. So let's just get started. All right. The first item is my facial brush. This is from Divoli. I love this facial brush. I did a video on this brush. Um, the link is in I'll put it down in the description box for that video. I love this facial brush because it really gets my skin really, really clean deep down. You know, I use it every single night and um, sometimes I use it in the morning as well. And I love it. The bristles are very soft. It really cleans a lot. It actually started bringing surface acne to the head. Um, and I was actually okay with that because that means that there was deep down dirt underneath my skin that I wasn't treating and cleaning and taking care of. And so with using this brush, it really brings that out. Also, it really helps to clean off all the makeup that I have on my face, any residual makeup. So I'm really happy with this item and I really am thankful that they sent this to me. And they didn't pay me to say this. I just honestly really love this facial brush. It also has a body brush as well, which I have used and I use on my days when I exfoliate my body. And yeah, so I definitely will put a link down in the description box as well. So where you can purchase this and any of the items that I show you. The next item is my deodorant. I'm loving this Tom's deodorant. This is long lasting 24 hour deodorant. This is tea tree. When I first started using this, I was noticing it was giving me like tingling under the arms. But after using it several times, I don't have that feeling anymore. It's really long lasting, it really works really well. And you know, I'm loving it. I really am. And I'm glad that I started to go the more natural route with my deodorants because I've noticed a difference. I don't have a lot of bumps under my arms and different things of that nature. So the natural deodorant is the route that I am loving. Okay, next item. Next item we have here is my Pond's Cold Cream. This is the cucumber one. I use this multi-purposely. I use this not only to clean the makeup off my face at night before I use my micellar water. I also use this to moisturize the skin afterwards. This has a light cucumber scent. It really moisturizes the skin. It's really great all year round. I use a little bit less in the summer and a little bit more when it's um, colder out and it works for all seasons. It has a great light cucumbery smell. It's not something that's going to burn the eyes. So yeah, I've been really loving this and incorporating this into my routine every single day, twice a day. Okay, next item. I showed you this before, but I just want to tell you how much I'm loving it and you can actually see. This is the Better Locks Conditioning Oil. I love this, this oil. You see, I only have a little bit left, so I'm going to get another one. But I love it just to spray it all over, especially on the ends. And when I do my braid outs at night, I spray a little bit of water and just a little bit of this at the ends and braid up my hair. And I really feel like my locks aren't super dry. 
and I also feel like they don't look dry and I'm really thankful and happy with that so yeah this has um, this has almond oil in it and I've always had good results using almond oil in my hair so I was excited when I did purchase this and I love using it okay next item next item is another hair care item which I'm loving and I still even use with my locks and this is the cream of nature argan oil perfect edges in black now I was always wary about using edge controls I didn't think it was gonna work it lasts for five minutes and then it's like see you later and I featured this in other videos, but I just want to let you know that these are products that I'm, if I featured before, I'm still using and I'm still loving these products. So yeah, this one is in black, so it gives a little bit of tint, which is great for, you know, those areas where you may need a little coverage. And I use this a lot more with my locks now than I did with my Loose Natural because this doesn't cause a buildup on my hair like regular gel does. If I use regular gel in my hair on my edges, I get a buildup. But with this, I don't because it, it, it's very conditioning. It is moisturizing, but it also is slicking my edges. And also with this, I can sometimes use this in conjunction with a gel. And when I use it in conjunction with the gel, it gives me even a little bit more stiffer hole. But this will help prevent, for some reason, will help prevent there being any sort of white or any sort of flaking so yeah I'm really really loving this um, I put a significant dent I can start to see the bottom I use it all the time um, I've even used it in my daughter's hair just to give her a little bit more of a slick polished look to her hair as well but um, yeah I'm really really loving it okay next items are some makeup items that I'm truly loving. First and foremost is this finishing powder in dark from Black Opal. I love this finishing powder. It really helps to mattify the makeup. It does have a bit of a red tint to it so it does add some more color a little bit to my face so that it's not gray or you know with my concealer sometimes this concealer can make my skin look a little too white this helps to add a little bit of more color to it um i've only put a small dent in it i have a lot left um i love the applicator because all you have to do is put the top on shake it and then you'll start to see some of the powder at the top you just take your brush dip tap off the fallout and then just add it to your face. I've used it both for um, baking and non-baking on my skin and it works. And it really works great, especially in the summer because I've noticed when I use this, I don't have a lot of shine because I tend to be very oily in the summer and drier in the winter. But it, it works great both ways. So yeah. Next item is my LA Girl Pro Conceal. I love this stuff. It has great coverage. This is great for concealing under the eyes. I use it on top of the lid as well before I start to do my eyeshadow. Um, some days I will go and use this along with this and that's it. I don't add any sort of foundation to my skin. I just want a little bit of coverage under the eyes, a little over the, the eyelid, and that's it. And then I put my finishing powder. And I spray my face. Maybe I'll do my highlighter afterwards. And that's really it. But I've been loving this because it has great coverage. It's affordable. It's like three, four dollars in my local beauty supply store. I have this in Fawn. And I have another color as well. But yeah great purchase. Next thing is, I've used this in a recent video, the Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara. I am obsessed with this mascara. It really works. It gives me great length. It makes me look as if I have um, falsies on when I don't. 
Uh, the applicator is just amazing. It's got that thicker at the down at one end and thinner at the top. The thinner I use more towards the bottom for the bottom lashes and that thicker I use up at the top lashes. It's not goopy. It doesn't clump all over the eyes. So this is a definite staple in my routine. I will use this along with my regular routine every day and that is it. Okay, I have one more item which I'm truly loving and I, I really love everything from their, their brand and I'm a huge supporter of their brand and it is Nika K. This is the perfect 22 palette. I started, when I first started with makeup, I went to my local beauty supply store and I was looking at the options that they had in there and they had palettes like this. I started playing around with these palettes, doing eye looks and different things, and I noticed that this is very pigmented for a, you know, smaller company, smaller brand. Their eyeshadows are very pigmented, their products really work, their complexion products actually are dark enough for my skin, which is another great thing, and this one here, it does have a little fallout, but it's, it's nothing too bad. The shadows and the colors are great. You see, I put a huge dent in a lot of the colors because I've been playing around with more colors recently and lately. I am just overall loving it. You know, this one here is more of the brighter palette. So it's got your shimmers here as well as your other darker colors. These are good colors you can mix together. They mix together and don't get muddy looking, which is good too. And... Um, they pick up a lot of product and this is a brand that is very underrated but I'm telling you guys trust me this is worth it it's worth every single little penny and these are very inexpensive they have a website so if you don't have a local beauty supply store by you you can also purchase through their website and I'll link them as well as all the other products none of them are sponsored these are just products I really love and I just wanted to come on and show you guys all the products that I love and have been feeling lately. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any products you want me to try to test out, then let me know in the comment section. I will try to link everything below and I will see you guys next time.